What's up guys? We're gonna be going through Prize Picks, which is a gambling platform. It's a little unique, but I've had some good success on it. I'm up over $10,000 this year on Prize Picks. It works a little differently from a traditional sports book, but in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down everything you need to know about making money on prize picks let's get into it so prize picks is a gambling platform it's a little unique for a couple reasons the first reason is you can only bet on player props so if you're used to traditional sports betting you're probably used to point spreads totals you know betting on which team is gonna win the game money line bets those aren't available on prize picks prize picks is a fixed payout sports book where they only have player props and you're picking players to go over or under like lebron james over under 28 and a half points and there's no odds on prize picks this is unique as well so you look at a traditional sports book like let's say FanDuel, you'll see a bunch of numbers a bunch of odds on prize picks there's no numbers there's no odds right so it's kind of like well this is a little weird but the way that prize picks works is it's a fixed payout platform so for example any four pick parlay you create any four pick entries you select you pick four players to go over or under they're going to give you a 10x payout so you're betting 10 to win 100 right so that's how prize picks works it's a fixed payout gambling platform where depending on how many picks you select you can go with two pick entries all the way to six pick entries is they're gonna have different payouts depending on how many picks you select. But for every two pick entry, they have the exact same payout. So for a two pick entry, you get a three X payout. Doesn't matter if you take baseball picks, NFL picks, overs, unders, whatever, you're always gonna be getting a three X payout. So prize picks is a fixed payout sports book. Any two pick entry has a three X payout. Any four pick entry has a 10 X payout. And I'm gonna be breaking down why this is really important in terms of making money on prize picks. So we'll start back to the whiteboard. We'll start with prize picks, their most popular type of entry, which is gonna be a two pick entry. So you need two picks to win and you're always getting a three X payout, right? Prize picks tells you it's a three X payout. Doesn't matter what picks you select, soccer, baseball, whatever, overs, unders, any two pick entry you create, you're always getting a three X payout. Now, a lot of people, when they see on prize picks, you'll see on prize picks, they tell you, hey, you're betting 20 to win 60. That's a little misleading, at least in my opinion, because it's not $60 a profit. 60 is your payout. So you're actually betting 20 to win only 40 in profit. Of that 60, $20 is your stake. So you're betting 20 to win 40 in profit, which is the same as plus 200 odds. If you think about a parlay, so basically any two pick parlay you create on prize picks, you're getting plus 200 odds, right? We're betting 20 to win 40 in profit. So what you can do is you can think about, okay, what percentage, let's get into the math behind prize picks a bit. The math is really important in terms of profitable betting strategy on prize picks. So we're getting plus 200 odds for these two pick entries. So what percentage of our two pick entries do we have to win to be profitable? Now let's say you place three two pick entries. You place three, right? All for $20. Let's say that's your unit size. Let's say you lose the first two entries. So you're down 20 on the first one, you're down 20 on the next one, you're down 40 bucks, but you win your third two pick entry. So you go up 40 in profit. So you're flat, you lose 20, you lose 20, you go up 40, you're flat. So one third is the break even win percentage for two pick entries on prize picks. In other words, if you can win your two pick entries 33.3% of the time, you're gonna break even. If you can win your two pick entries above that, let's say 40% of the time, then you're gonna be profitable. You're gonna have a positive ROI. Again, if you win a third, right, of your two pick entries, you're breaking even. So if you can win, let's say 50% of your two pick entries, you're gonna be profitable, right? Now, on the other hand, if you are winning less than a third of your two pick entries, 20%, something like that, you're gonna be unprofitable. Your ROI long-term playing on prize picks. Again, this video is about sports betting math, strategies to win. We have a long-term focus. I'm not talking about one bet. I'm saying if you wanna beat prize picks long-term, you need to win these two pick entries above a third of the time. So two pick entries mean you're taking two over-unders. 
right? So what we can do next is say, okay, a two pick entry has two bets, right? What percentage of our bets do we have to win? So each leg in a two pick parlay on prize picks, each over under like LeBron James, over under 28 and a half points, what percentage of our picks do we have to win to be profitable on prize picks, right? If we win a third of our two pick entries, we're breaking even. So what we can do is we can back out what percentage of our picks do we have to win to be profitable playing two pick entries on prize picks? What percentage of our bets do we have to win? Just like LeBron over under 28 and a half points. And you're gonna see, you know, it's just, if you have two bets, you know, probability of winning both bets is, you know, Y times Y, if you wanna think about the math, equals 33.3%. So basically, to be profitable playing two pick entries on prize picks, you have to be able to select your bets correctly above this number, 57.4% of the time. So in other words, if you can win your bets on prize picks like LeBron over under 28 and a half points, if you can select those bets correctly, the over versus the under correctly, let's say 60% of the time, you're gonna be profitable, right? If you can only select them correctly 55% of the time, you're not gonna be profitable, right? So this is the key number. If you're playing two pick entries, you gotta win your bets above 57.4% of the time to be profitable, okay? To be profitable long-term. So if you think about how does prize picks make money, I try to talk about that in every video, like what's the sports books, you know, advantage? Prize picks, it's not like we go to prize picks and they charge us a fee for placing a bet. That's not how prize picks works, right? The way that prize picks makes money is they know this is really hard to do, right? Even if you're winning your bets like LeBron over under 28 and a half points, even if you're winning your bets 55% of the time, so you're winning 55% of your bets, losing 45%, so you still have an advantage, but you're going to lose money playing two pick entries because you're not winning above 57.4% of your bets, right? So prize picks knows that most people don't have much of an advantage. So if you don't have much of an advantage, then you selecting over versus under is basically like flipping a coin. It's gonna be 50% to show up heads, 50% tails. So if you don't have an advantage, you're gonna be 50-50 to get your picks right or wrong. Whereas you need an advantage on prize picks, you gotta win your bets, let's say 60% of the time, only losing 40% to be profitable on prize picks right? So this is for two pick entries. We'll go through three pick entries next, because again, three pick entries versus two pick entries, you got to go through the math again, and this will help us learn what type of bet slip is optimal on prize picks. Should we be going with two pick entries or three pick entries or five pick flex plays? What should we be doing? So we just went through two pick entries on prize picks and that to be profitable playing these two pick entries, you just gotta hit your player props above 57.4% of the time. So prop bets like LeBron over under, you know, 28 and a half points. If you can win those above 57.4% of the time, you're gonna be profitable playing two pick power plays. But prize picks has a bunch of different slip types, right? They have two pick entries, three pick, all the way to six pick. They have flex plays, which is kind of like insurance. So with a flex play, you don't have to win every pick to make money. Whereas a power play is just like a parlay. A four pick power play, you need all four picks to win to cash. But what we can do next is we can go through three pick entries, right? We know these two pick entries, we gotta win our prop bets above 57.4% of the time to be profitable. But what about three pick entries? So let's go through it. Three pick entries, any three picks you select, you're getting a 5X payout. You're betting 100 to win 500 total, right? Which is $400 in profit. So you're betting 100 to win 400 in profit. So just think about it. If you win one out of five slips or 20% of your slips, three pick entries, then you're gonna break even, right? If you lose four slips with a $100 unit size in a row, you're down 400. But then if you hit, a 5X payout plus 400 odds, you're betting 100 to win 500 total, 400 in profit, you go up 400, so you'd break even. If you go one for five, you would break even playing these three pick power plays. So 
To be profitable playing three pick entries, three pick power plays, you gotta win 20% of your slips. So we can do the same thing we did last time. We have three picks, right? So what we can do is we can back out what percentage of our prop bets do we have to win? Just like LeBron James, over under 28 and a half points, any over under on the board, what percentage of those picks do we have to win to be profitable playing three pick entries? And you're gonna see when you go through the math, for three pick entries, it's 58.4%, right? That's worse than two pick entries, which are 57.4%, right? We wanna make money if we win a lower percentage of our picks. So I'll give you a simple example. Let's say you could win your prop bet over unders, just like LeBron over under 28 and a half points. Let's say you can win those prop bets 58% of the time. Over the course of thousands of bets, you're gonna lose money playing three pick power plays, right? For three pick power plays, you gotta win your bets above 58.4% of the time to be profitable. Whereas for two pick power plays, it's only 57.4%. So you'd be profitable playing two pick power plays if you could win your prop bets 58% of the time, but you would lose money playing three pick power plays. So you never, never, never wanna bet three pick power plays um, on prize picks. It's actually one of the worst types of slips on prize picks. You should never be placing these three pick entries. So it should not be surprising that three pick entries on prize picks are really, really bad. The worst type of slip you can actually play. And the reason is if you look at underdog fantasy, which is prize picks biggest competitor, it works just like prize picks. They give you a six X payout for three pick parlays. Prize picks only 5X, underdog fantasy 6X. So prize picks kind of has a rip off. They're ripping you off for these three pick entries. You don't wanna play some, stay away from them. So now we can go through what type of slip is optimal on prize picks. And I've gone through the math for two pick entries to six pick entries with insurance or without insurance. So again, insurance is called a flex play on prize picks and it basically means you don't have to win every pick to make money. So for example, for a five pick flex play, if you go five for five, you get a 10X payout. So if you bet 10, you win 100. If you go four for five, you get a 2X payout. So you bet 10, you win 20. And then if you go three for five, you get a 0.4X payout. So flex play just means it's insured. You don't have to win every pick to get some money back. But what type of slip is optimal? I've gone through the math for every type of possible entry on prize picks. Again, for two pick entries, you gotta win your bets 57.7% of the time to be profitable, right? If it said 57.4% earlier, that was wrong, ignore it, 57.7. So if you can win your pick 60% of the time, which is really hard to do, right? If you can win your prop bets like LeBron over under 28 and a half, 60% of the time, only losing 40%, you're beating the market very strong, right? 60, 40 is really good. You're gonna make a lot of money regardless of the slip type you play, but that's next to impossible. So for two pick entries, 57.7%. For five and six pick flex plays, it's a lot better. I mean a lot better, 54.2%. And you may be like, okay, what's the big difference? Let's say you can win your picks 56% of the time. Okay, so you can win your bets 56% of the time on prize picks. So like LeBron over under 28 half, you're winning 56, losing 44% of your picks. If you're playing two pick power plays, you are losing a lot of money. Your ROI is negative 6%. Okay, now if you're playing five flex plays, your ROI is 12%. That's a swing of 18%. You go from losing money, negative 6% to 12% just by changing the type of bet you're placing on prize picks. So all my bets I place, all my big wins, you're gonna notice are five and six pick flex plays, right? That's all I'm placing because that's what's optimal right? That's just how the math works out. You shouldn't be placing, especially three pick entries on prize picks, but also two pick entries. You really should just be doing five and six pick flex plays, which kind of stinks because you got to find five picks you really like. Two pick power plays, you only have to find two. But again, it's really hard to make money on two pick power plays compared to five and six pick flex plays. 
54.2% where it's a lot easier to get an advantage. So we can recap what we've gone through so far. Prize picks only can bet on player props. It's a fixed payout platform. Any two pick entry you create, you're getting a three X payout. And what's optimal is going with five or six pick flex plays. You really wanna avoid the three picks especially, but ideally you go with five or six pick flex plays because you only have to win 54.25% of your player prop over unders to be profitable. So now we can kind of get into, okay, I understand prize picks, how they work. I understand I need to be going with five or six pick flex plays. How do I find prop bets that are actually profitable and gonna help me win long-term? That's what we're gonna go through. So now we can go through some more advanced strategies for making money on prize picks. And the first one we can discuss is middle betting. So what is middle betting? And to be a good middle better, I'll give you an example here in a second. You're going to need more than one sports book. So if you use prize picks, maybe underdog fantasy is a good option. But the easiest way to explain this is through an example. So all these books, they all set lines independently. Every book has different lines from one another. So you can see for this player hot dog, prize picks is setting his line at 33. Underdog fantasy has his line two and a half points higher at 35 half. Right, so we found this big discrepancy between the sports books, which is crazy if you think about it. Right, like if you go to Fidelity, Robinhood, E Trade, you're gonna see the same price for a stock. Only in sports betting is the market this fragmented where you get huge discrepancies between sports books, pretty crazy. Hot Dog's line is 33 on prize picks, 35 and a half on underdog. So, what you could do is you could bet the under 35 and a half on underdog fantasy the over 33 on prize picks. And if hot dog has 34 or 35, then you're gonna win both bets. So that's a middle bet, right? You're essentially capitalizing on inefficiencies in the market, discrepancies in where sports books are setting their line. And it's a really effective strategy. If you research how do pro sports bettors make money, you'll see middle betting talked about pretty frequently, right? All these books set lines independently, the market's very fragmented. So you're capitalizing on these inefficiencies, okay? Now, another strategy for making money on prize picks is taking advantage of correlation. So we explained earlier that prize picks, it's, it has fixed payouts, right? They don't change your payout based on you selecting over, or under, whatever picks you select. So what you can do is you can find for picks in the same game, positively correlated outcomes. So I'll give you a simple example is in the NFL, if you want to take Justin Jefferson, who's a star receiver for the Vikings, over in receiving yards, it probably makes sense to take Kirk Cousins over in passing yards. That's his QB, right? If Justin Jefferson gets a lot of receiving yards, Kirk Cousins threw him. So if Justin Jefferson goes over in receiving yards, Kirk Cousins is more likely to go over in passing yards. So it makes sense to take both picks over together because prize picks will give you the same payout if you take both overs together versus one over and one under, which wouldn't make any sense. It would make no sense to take Justin Jefferson over in receiving yards and Kirk Cousins under in passing yards when you're getting the same payout as if you take Kirk Cousins over and Justin Jefferson over. So looking for correlation, prize picks is very exploitable, right? This is just one example. Wide receiver over in yards, QB, his QB over in yards. That's one example. In League of Legends, I've gone through the data, you wanna take players on the same team, both to go the same direction. So similar to the NFL, wide receiver QB, right? If we take Kirk Cousins over, we wanna take Justin Jefferson over. If we take Jefferson under, probably wanna take Cousins under, if we can find value on both plays. So for League of Legends, it's the same. If you take a player's over, you wanna take his teammate to also go over. If you take us under, you wanna find a teammate, ideally with value, also to go under. In the NHL, you can think about it. It's kinda of like shots on goal for a player on one team and then saves for the opposing goalie. If you take a goalie to go over and saves, the star player on the opposing team, if you can find value, taking him over and shots on goal, you have some positive correlation. So this is an added benefit of prize picks Two more, slightly more advanced strategies, correlation, middle betting, things to consider on prize picks. But regardless, overall, I hope you enjoyed this prize picks tutorial. 
I try to keep it just data driven, explaining how these platforms work, the math behind them, how to make money on these platforms. And if you have any questions, drop them below. You can also email me, let me know anything you're curious about on Prize Picks. I'm happy to answer. Let's make some money, guys.